in this model you can find the head and neck it's a sectional model so I'm going to show you uh, different parts of the brain different section from top to bottom so I'm going to take it out so you can see uh, here is the skin and this yellow is the subcutaneous tissue uh, which contains some vessels and nerves and deep to this you can find the bone is the skull bone and deep to the skull this uh, if you look at it closely you can see this is the meninges which is covering the brain and separating the right and left hemispheres of the brain so this is the cortex it's gray matter at the center you can see the white color is the white matter is medulla cortex medulla so I'm gonna go down one layer so again there is no big difference I'm gonna go down so you can see two spaces appear here it's called the lateral ventricle so uh, we have right and left lateral ventricle deep to the mm, brain hemisphere or cerebrum hemisphere we have right and left lateral ventricles so they are separating from each other where this uh, wall it's called septum placidum here is the septum placidum and I'm gonna go one layer down so you can see that this is the lateral ventricle part of the lateral ventricle so lateral ventricle has this is a c-shaped structure like this i'm going to show you lateral ventricles from different view here is the c-shaped structure it's called the lateral ventricle it has a tail you can see it's a c-shaped structure with a th tail so we have right and left lateral ventricle so if you take a cross section horizontal section you can see anterior and posterior part of the um, the lateral ventricle like this in this model so what is this which is next to the lateral ventricle so this is the caudate nucleus just keep in mind caudate nucleus is a c-shaped structure it's following the other c-shaped structure lateral ventricle just next to the codate as next to the lateral ventricle we have codate so this is codate this tiny structure brown is codate you can see a little bit here if you look at it closely this one and this one and then you can find the septum placidum here as well and this white color and this one is the uh, corpus callosum as you see corpus callosum from the superior view it's connecting the right and left hemispheres so corpus callosum corpus callosum the structure i'm going to show you on the brain look at this one this is the medial view sagittal section you can see corpus callosum so if you take a horizontal section or axial section you can see two pieces of the corpus callosum anteriorly and posteriorly so as you see here in this sectional view this is the corpus callosum anterior part posterior part and then here is the septum placidum which is separating the right and left lateral ventricle and these two tiny bits are called the fornix it's part of the fornix so fornix like corpus callosum it's connecting the right and left hippocampus hippocampus is located into the temporal lobe and then you can see the third ventricle here on either side of the third ventricle we have these two oval shaped structure it is thalamus keep in mind thalamus is just uh, on either side of the third ventricle coded nuclei following the lateral ventricle thalami two thalami or two thalamus are on either side of the third ventricle so then we have the lentiforms a triangular structure here it's called the lentiform it has two parts so laterally I can show you uh, okay I'm gonna so I'm going to 
show you with this one. So if you look at here, it's uh, brown. It is called the putamen, but medially it's a little bit white. It's called glues pollicus. Laterally putamen, medially glues pollicus, they make lentiform. So lentiform and caudate nucleus, they are part of the basal nuclei, or basal ganglia. Then you can see this line, brown line, is called clostrum. And then here is the insular cortex. So here we have the lateral um, sulcus. Deep to the lateral sulcus, you can find the, this one. So I'm going to show you the lateral sulcus in this model. From the lateral view, you can see this lateral sulcus. It's separating the temporal lobe from the parietal and frontal lobe. So if you look at here, I'm going to take it out. You can see the insular lobe. So deep to the lateral uh, sulcus, we have insular lobe. So if you take a, an axial section or horizontal section, you can see deep to the this one, lateral sulcus, we have insular lobe. So deep to the insular lobe, you can see the clostrum, this brown line. Between the clostrum and insular cortex, this white color is uh, the capsule. It's called extreme capsule or extreme capsule. Yeah. Uh, lateral sulcus, deep to the lateral sulcus, insular cortex. This white color is extreme capsule brown line, clostrum, between clostrum and putamen, this white color is external capsule. And then between the lentiform, caudate and thalamus, this l shape the structure is internal capsule. So we have three capsules from lateral to medial, extreme capsule, external capsule, and internal capsule. They are all white color because they contain the myelinated axons. I'm going to go down one layer more. So you can see only the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle. You can see the whole thalamus. This is the right and left thalamus on either side of the third ventricle. You can also see this lentiform putamen laterally, glubus pollicus medially, and clostrum insular cortex. Uh, yeah, here you can see a little bit, uh, a little bit um, the corpus callosum. Now, we, if you go down, you can see this. Uh, Mickey Mouse shape the structure is called the midbrain. It's a midbrain. So the ears of the midbrain are called the cerebral peduncles. So you can see the cerebral peduncles, red nucleus, substantia nigra, and this point is cerebral acuda. So all this Mickey Mouse is on the midbrain. If you go down, you can see the pons. Just below the midbrain, you can find the pons. And posterior to the pons, we have uh, cerebellum. And anterior to the pons, we have basilar artery. So basilar artery. And you can also see the temporal lobes. Right and left are the temporal lobes. This section is at the level of the eyes. So if you look at here, this model, this is the eye. So at the level of the eyes, if you take a cross section, you can find the um, the pons. Here is the pons and cerebellum. If you go a little bit up, we have uh, midbrain. This is the midbrain. Here is the midbrain, and a little bit you can see the um, cerebellum. 